Okay, so the last thing that we need to, to uh, calculate or quantify is the mean slope for our watershed. The uh, zonal statistics tool is the tool we're going to use to do that. And I want you to notice that there's two kinds of zonal statistics tool. There's just a straight zonal statistics, and then there's zonal statistics as a table. The zonal statistics tool by itself will calculate one statistic at a time and outputs um, a new raster or a new shape file basically with that same statistic. Um, we're going to run zonal statistics as a table because I think it's just more interesting. It gives us more results, but it doesn't output any kind of a um, spatial data set. It only outputs a table. So uh, one thing to know is that the zone, um, the zone data can be either raster or feature class. And what do you think our zone is that we're interested in? It's the watershed, okay? So we're going to put our watershed in here. That's the one that we want to use as our boundary to define the mean slope within. Um, the zone field is ID, that's fine. And now we need to input our value raster. This is the, the raster data set that combines the values that we want to calculate the statistic of mean for. So this is going to trip some people up. Um, if you think about these, if you put in some of these data sets that you've created that have been classified, um, you're going to end up, for example, if you ran the mean on your um, classified slope layer, this is the one that we ran the cast cal raster calculator on and ended up with binary outputs. If we ran our um, zonal statistics table or as a table on this data set, we'd come up with a mean that's somewhere between 0 and 1. And that's not what we want to do. What we want to do is come up with a mean slope in units degrees for the watershed, which we would expect to be somewhere between 0 and 90. Okay, and we're not going to get that result if we run it on values of 0 and 1. So we need to go back to our raw uh, slope raster. Now you can, I've, take it, I've taken it out of the map and re-added it, and now it doesn't come in with the classified color ramp of red to green. It's just in a, a you know, regular grayscale color ramp, but it doesn't matter. We still have the correct values in here, and that's what really counts. So we're going to put our Ogden slope and units degrees in there. That's this one that has the full range of slope values. Our output, we can call um, zonal statistics on slope in degrees. Now notice it's not showing anything in my new folder because we're actually outputting a table this time and I don't have any other database tables in there. It's not unlike Word or Excel. Um, you can leave these, but notice in here you could pick just a single uh, statistic to calculate, but doesn't really make sense if you're going to calculate it in a table, you might as well do them all. And hit OK. It adds it here, it switches our layout view to source because we're displaying a table. If we open it, here are our results. So the count should be the total number of cells. Um, we can, we can um, test that by comparing it to the area of our watershed or our area here. Here's our minimum, zero. That makes sense. Here's our maximum slope value. That makes sense. Um, our range should be the difference between the two. That makes sense. And here's our mean. This is the mean slope in units degrees. Here's the standard deviation on that mean. How about the sum? What does that mean? Um, is that a useful statistic in this, in this situation? Here they're saying that for every single cell value in here in slope in units degrees, they've added all of those slopes up and gotten this big number. So that's kind of a stupid <laughs> metric in this case. Um, there are other times when it's very useful, but not in this situation. So there you go. That's how you're going to use zonal statistics. We could run that on aspect as well, and we could figure out what maybe the majority is. Um, those are some of the other um, metrics that you can calculate in there. So um, if you have questions, let me know as always, and good luck.